My name is John Snader, and I'm the President and CEO of Brethren Village, and I'm here to provide a brief but important COVID-19 update. On Monday, June 8, Pennsylvania Secretary of Health, Dr. Rachel Levine, issued an order to all Pennsylvania Department of Health licensed skilled nursing facilities that a one-time baseline mandatory test of residents and team members who work in these facilities needs to be completed by July 24. For Brethren Village, this means that the residents in the courtyards and the rehabilitation center, along with the employees who provide direct care or care support to these residents, will be tested for COVID-19 within the next few weeks. I want to provide you with some general information about this testing so that you will be informed about what you may see occurring at the Welcome Center and what may result from the testing. The testing will be coordinated by the County of Lancaster through funds that were made available to the county by the United States federal government, which has been designated for one-time testing of skilled nursing facility residents and employees. The test, which is coordinated by contracted laboratories, will occur over a two consecutive day period. Residents and their designated representatives will be individually contacted regarding the test, the way it will be conducted, and what steps will be taken if positive cases are identified. Likewise, team members have been notified of the testing procedures and the policies that are in place should a positive test result among a tested team member. If positive tests are identified, appropriate quarantining will be implemented. For residents, this means that they will be temporarily moved to a specially designated isolation unit where they will receive attentive care specific to their clinical needs and to monitor their progress with COVID-19. Residents will remain on an isolation for a period of 10 days. For team members who test positive, they will be required to isolate at home for a period of 10 days. All cases will continue to be monitored by our, our infection control nurse, and residents and team members will not return to their households or work duties until such time as they are deemed clear according to the Centers for Disease Control and the Pennsylvania Department of Health guidelines. We have made plans for staffing contingencies should team members test positive and be removed from work schedules. Because of the unknown numbers that may be asymptomatic for COVID-19, we do not at present know what impact testing might have on our staffing levels. Our plans, which are quite detailed, will include all appropriate licensed and credentialed staff who, although not necessarily assigned to daily duties in the courtyards or the rehabilitation center, may be called upon to work in skilled nursing or rehabilitation on a temporary basis for which their competencies and professional training is needed. Now, this may mean interruptions in some services such as home care during this testing period and the quick and somewhat sudden impact it may have on Brethren Village operations. Because the testing occurs over a concentrated two-day period, results will be coming in very quickly and action will need to be taken quickly. For those residents and team members who test negative, things remain much as they are today. For residents and team members who test positive, action will need to be taken immediately, as I have described previously. It's important to note that the two weeks that follow the days designated for testing may be busy, and you may see Brethren Village disclosing an increase in positive cases on our campus. Based on what is known about this disease, it is probable we will see cases identified, so it will not be unexpected if we report the increase to you. It is very important to know that the continued correct and consistent use of personal protective equipment, PPE, which has been essential to our infection control of COVID-19, will continue. 
We continue to have a strong supply of masks, gloves, face shields, gowns, and other essential PPE items. Now, this has been central to our efforts to mitigate and arrest the spread of COVID-19 on our skilled nursing, personal care, and independent living levels of care. Testing does not replace good infection control. Brethren Village shall continue to practice the infection control standards recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and the Pennsylvania Department of Health. The expenses for this mandatory testing are covered by the federal money received by the County of Lancaster. There is no out-of-pocket expense that residents, team members, or Brethren Village is expected to bear in this process. We appreciate the efforts of the County of Lancaster and the investment they have made in this process. I appreciate your understanding and I appreciate your continued vigilance and wearing of masks, practicing social distancing, washing hands, and keeping good personal hygiene as we continue to battle COVID-19 on our campus. Thank you.